back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well today. I'm doing really good. In today's video, I'm going to present you all of my 13 pet rabbits. Let's just get into this video right now. So, first of all, you might ask, why do I have 13 rabbits? I simply have a rabbit tree, so I'm a rabbit breeder. <laughs> I breed raise and sell pet rabbits and I breed three specific breeds got the Netherland Dwarf which is the smallest breed of rabbits in the world so it's 1.5 to 2.5 pounds so like really small little cute bunnies with really short ears then I raised the Holland Lops which are really really popular breed with the loppy ears and they're they kind of chubby and just so cute and they're overall known to be really friendly and good for families and I also raised the lion heads, which are also really popular. They're the ones with the really long mane. They require, though, a lot of grooming, so they're not for everybody, but they're really sweet and so cute. I currently have a litter of lion heads, and I got two babies in there. And next week's video is going to be about them, so definitely stay tuned for that. I said that, that I breed three breeds. I uh, actually also breed mixes of those breeds, and I have one rabbit that is not of those breeds, and her name is Cookie. She's the first rabbit that I'm going to present. So she was the first rabbit I ever owned. She is a year and a half old, and she is a mix of Mini Rex and California Rabbit. And she's actually my biggest rabbit. She's pretty big. She's 5.5 pounds, and she's really cute. She had three litters, and all her babies are super friendly, and people that bought them really love the babies, and she's a really good mom and a really good bunny in general. Right now she's having a little break from having babies, but next year I might start to breed her again to have more cute babies from her. Now I'm going to present you the bunnies per breed. So I'm going to start with the Holland Lops. So I have three Holland Lops, purebred Holland Lops right now. So I'm going to start with the Bucks. Buck is the name that we give for a male rabbit and doe for a female. So I got two Bucks. They're actually full brothers. One name is Tortellini and the other one is Ravioli and they're super cute, super sweet. They are almost five months old now. Tortellini is a broken black tort in color and Ravioli is a broken blue tort which is really similar. It's basically the same color but just a different base. So Tortellini is based black and Ravioli is based blue or gray. Then we got a little brownie. She's a bit older so she just turned five months old. And she is a black tort, so the same color that Tortellini, but she's not broken. Broken means that they have white spots on them, like Tortellini and Ravioli. Now we're gonna go with the Netherland Dwarf. So I actually have two Netherland Dwarf. So I have a little buck, his name is Barley. He is three months old currently, so he is my youngest bunny. So he's too young to breed right now, so I'm not gonna have babies from him until probably next spring. But I'm really excited to see babies from him, he's really cute. And he is Lilac Otter in color. I might do a video about genetics and the colors uh, for you guys. It's really interesting, really complicated though, but once you know it, it's really simple. And then I got a little Mochi, she just turned 6 months old and I actually bred her for the first time yesterday with one of my lion head bucks that I'm gonna show you right after. And she might have babies next month. It's not sure, but I don't mind. So I'm really excited for that, it's gonna be her first litter. Mochi's color is chocolate. Now with the lion heads, the first one is the buck, his name is Rapini, he's the one that I bred to Mochi I just told you about. And he is a cream color buck and he is super cute he's super fluffy he is a double maned lion head which means he has two genes of the main um gene if that makes sense <laughs> he is about he's eight months old now yeah i think he's eight months old and he's actually the dad of the litter of lion heads that i just told you about a little bit before that i'm gonna make a video about them next week so Stay tuned. Then we got Sweet Pea. She is the mother of the little lion heads babies I just told you about. She is a year and a half old and she is blue in color, which is another name for gray. She's really sweet. She is single maned, so she has only has one of the main genes. So you can see the difference between Rapini and Sweet Pea. She really is, she has less mane. You see, Rapini has long mane all over his body, but 
uh, Sweet Pea is more on the face and on, under her belly and where her butt is. And my other line head, her name is Candy. She is five months old, almost six months old, and I might breed her at the end of the month to get some babies from her. She's really sweet. She is blue point in color, and she is Vienna Mart. <laughs> the mixed breeds of like I said I have three specific breeds and I also breed mixes of those breeds so I have two lion dwarfs which is the mix of lion heads and Netherland dwarf and they're actually full siblings so the first one is a buck his name is Kiwi he's actually my sister's bunny but I still present him as my bunny because it's still part of the rabbit tree but it's my sister's bunny so he is a black Vienna marked just like candy. One of his eyes has a little tip of blue and it's so cute. Like when you see it's like oh, a little bit of blue, it's cute. He's four months old. And yeah, that's pretty much it about him. So Cherry is obviously the same age as him. He's, she is actually also the same color, but her, she has a different. One of her eye is fully blue and the other one is half brown, half blue. It's super cute. I forgot to tell about Kiwi. He is single mate, but he lost mo most of his mane. When he was baby, he was really puffy, but he only has a few little here's there and there that show that he is single mane but he lost most of it but cherry she kept most of her mane and she's really really more fluffy than him now onto my lion lops lion lops are a mix of lion heads and hon lop and they are a so popular mix and even myself i love them so much so they're basically made like lion heads but they have loppy ears and it's so so cute so strumbly he is a five months old lion lop i have a second lion lop her name is raspberry her ears are not lopped though but her dad was a hon lop and her mom was a lion head she is single maned um and she is a black tortoise. She just turned six months as well like Mochi and she got bred three days ago with Rapini. He's my only mature buck right now so he's the, all the babies that I'm gonna have from him in the next month or two are gonna be from him because the other ones are all too young to breed. So she was bred to Rapini and I'm so excited to see babies from them. That is it for my 13 rabbits. I also have the two lionhead babies. I'll let you see a little clip right now. And their name is Salsa and Mayo. That's what I decided to name them. But there's something that I need to tell you. It's not because bunnies are cute and beautiful that breeding rabbits is for everybody so I just want to make a little disclaimer that you really got to be serious into it and don't just start to breed rabbits like this so I made hours and hours and hours of research talking to people and having experience with my own rabbits before I started to breed and sell so I just wanted to say that all my rabbits are super well taken care of they take lots of time lots of grooming lots of cleaning lots of tears sometimes uh lots of laugh lots of love lots 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 of grooming i can't say it enough there's like nails trimming um making sure all the babies are right you gotta check them every single day see if they a drank uh make sure they're all healthy and happy and taking care of all the rabbits making sure they're all happy got plenty of exercise and that they're all happy and get enough attention and love so it's a big part of my routine the rabbits take a big part of that it's not only taking care of the bunnies but it's also like selling them and making sure they go to good homes but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video uh i'm excited for next week's video because salsa and mayo are going to go to their new homes next friday so a little over a week from now and i filmed them from birth to until they're going to be eight weeks old and go to their new families and i'm going to make a video about it and show you guys from birth to eight weeks old i'm going to see you in another video and little thing here in two weeks there's going to be a really 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 exciting video coming up so stay tuned bye